She may seem sweet, but is there something shady behind Michelle's shade? Hey, Granny, what's shaking? This is Bikini Bottom Mysteries. Meet Miss Shell. Miss Shell sasses ghosts. There's this great new product called toothpaste. Miss Shell shushes troublemakers. Miss Shell sells seashells down by the seashore. No, she doesn't. Well, she still seems like quite a plucky old lady. But is there more to Miss Shell than meets the eye? Lonnie, is that you? Exhibit A, seeing double. Decades after her stint as a teacher, how is this old lady still so spry? Is it all the power walking, the steady diet of Krabby Patties, or is it something far stranger? Watch closely. This Michelle is slumping into her vichy swans, while that Michelle sprints through the streets of Bikini Bottom. This Michelle needs a walker, while that Michelle can withstand a towering boat wreck. This Michelle can't find the menu section. Do you know where the menu section is? While that Michelle faced down the Flying Dutchman himself. Seems awfully suspicious. Radically different personalities, rapidly changing abilities. Could it be that there's more than one Michelle? Holy smokes! Holy smokes is right, because where there's smoke, there's fire. That's right. It seems Bikini Bottom is home to not one, but two Miss Shells. One elderly, fragile, and hopelessly gullible. But this is a spoon. And another a fiery fish with a penchant for stunts. Oh, no! Still not convinced? After all, it's an excellent likeness, nearly indistinguishable. Except we've caught the double on camera. Take a look. This Michelle flees from danger. But moments later, back inside the nursing home. Take a look at those boots. Seem familiar? Those are Michelle's signature boots. That's right. The other Michelle is still inside. Or half inside. But if there are two Michelles with radically different stunt abilities, wouldn't someone notice? What if someone already has? Exhibit D, cold shoulder. Between the hair, the glasses, and the attitude. I knew it. Miss Shell seems pretty memorable. And she and SpongeBob cross paths again and again. They were in a band together. They learned to drive together and she was SpongeBob's kindergarten teacher. That's right. She was there in his formative years, ushering him through kindergarten. So why doesn't her old student recognize her? They're right here, lady. Lady? He's got nothing to say to his old teacher. He doesn't even say her name. Hey, Granny, what's shaking? Granny? This is the same sponge who was willing to break his other teacher out of jail. The same sponge who counts his kindergarten classmate as among his closest friends. Only our closest friends. Who the barnacles is SpongeBob SquarePants? I believe you went to kindergarten with him, dear. So why the cold shoulder for Miss Shell? Is it because she shushed him while he was feeling it? You feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Is it because she quit Squidward's marching band before the bubble bowl? Or is it because SpongeBob SquarePants, the chronic teacher's pet, is the only one who sees that this isn't the real Miss Shell? But why cook up a ploy so cunning, so elaborately choreographed, so intricately plotted, that we never see them in the same place? Is it for sinister purposes, or for something far more personal? Exhibit C, Dennis the Menace. Miss Shell's scheme might have selfish or shellfish ends. See what I did there? Could she be trying to bust her long, long, long time boyfriend? Because it seems Dennis is the real menace here. Sure, Miss Shell and Dennis have a long running relationship. They play canasta together, they go out on the town together. I don't do it on purpose! But this is no happily married couple. It's all in the name. Miss Shell, not Mrs. whatever Dennis's last name is. 
And it looks like Miss Shell's still looking for a ring. She's been spotted leaping for the bride's bouquet at a wedding. But good luck with those wedding bells, Miss Shell, because Dennis is already married. Just like we raised him. It seems Miss Shell has her suspicions. You have been cheated and lied to. I knew it. And rightly so. Because while leading on Miss Shell and maintaining a marriage with Mabel, Dennis has been dining with other ladies. Dennis, you double-crossing cad. So is Miss Shell's double act a way to spy on her no-good boyfriend? A plot to catch out Dennis? We may never untangle the personal lives of these scandalous seniors, but one thing's for sure, don't cross Miss Shell. And now, a Bikini Bottom bonus mystery. Janet and Marty are two suspicious starfishes. They claim they don't have kids. We don't have a son. These two starfish claim Patrick is their son. But if that's true, then how did Janet and Marty know Patrick's name? Pots for Patrick! <laughs> Was it a good guess? Are they smarter than they seem? Are they stalking Patrick Star? Who are you people? File this one under M. For Marty, I'm scared. Have you seen something strange under the sea? Leave us a comment and tune in next time for more investigations that will blow your pores, strip your scales, and flip your fins. Like, subscribe, and remember, if the pineapple fits, live in it. Yar, love all things SpongeBob? Like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a new video here on the SpongeBob official YouTube channel. Yar!